The Pasadena Business Journal is brought to you by these generous sponsors. Clear Lake Volkswagen, Texas Citizens Bank, and Remax First Source. Please visit these fine businesses for helping bring you great programming. Here we go now, here we go now, here we go now, here we go now. Welcome to another edition of the Pasadena Business Journal. My name is Michael Garfield. I am your host, and this is the show where we go all over this great community of Pasadena, showing you some of the wonderful businesses and the great people of this community. Now, right now, we are at the Pasadena Convention Center for their annual Pasadena Chamber Business Expo. Stand by. We're not going in yet. Before, we have to take a tour around town. And you know what? We're going to start with something very tasty. You know, traveling around Pasadena can get a guy real hungry. And over the past several episodes, we've seen some great restaurants. But where I'm standing right now, if you can't see it, I wish you could smell it. Because there's a lot of pan dolce, a lot of sugar, and some calories too. Because we are standing in El Bolillo. It's been here about a year after two successful locations in Houston. But now there is a great big one here in Pasadena. And Mr. El Bolillo himself, the owner, the creator, here he is. It is yeah, Kirk yeah. Michaelis. Yes, First sir. of all, El Bolillo, what is that? Uh, El Bolo is the bread that, that, that we serve in the Hispanic community. It's a staple, and also it's a slang name for the white guys. So you're actually a Bolillo, too. Two white guys. So, yeah. High-tech techs in the Bolillo. I'll actually go with that. Congrats on your success. Oh, thank you. Two Houston locations over the past 21 years, yes, but, sir. Uh, but about a year ago, this grand big location in Pasadena. Why choose here? Um, we were looking at our Google Analytics of where the customers were coming from, and I'm sure you understand that. We you know? like Google. It's smart. Uh, it yeah, gives you great yeah. data. And, and um, so I, I came investigating here in Pasadena, and I went to the city hall, and open arms, uh, had a new mirror here, mm -hmm. and, and a whole new direction and a whole new vibe happening here and we had to be part of it so we we jumped in with our biggest store it's 12,000 square feet and um, so blessed to be here yeah, so blessed it, it's not only as big and I know this is just the storefront where we're standing right now but in a few minutes we're actually gonna go back so we can actually see yeah. what the, what the magic yeah. is since you've been open how has business been I mean you can see traffic there, there's a line right behind <laughs> us over here. how has the community opened its arms and come in it's, and, and it's been a blessing when we opened up uh, about a month after we opened the storm hit mm -hmm. and 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 that was really scary because everything Thing was, was was closed down sure. and shut down, but all of a sudden it started coming up, and 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 it was a hundred percent change. It, it's done twice as good as our stores that we opened when we opened them there in the first year. So um, Pasadena, thank you. We love it. Yeah, <laughs> amen. This is the place to open businesses without a doubt. Twelve thousand square feet, and and obviously the, the crowd here just on a weekday here, even the afternoon is big. What days are you open? What are your hours? Because I'm sure you're, you should be open twenty four hours. Yeah, now. we open up five in the morning. We close at ten o'clock at night, and uh, then we cook bread all night long to get ready for the next day. Uh, yeah. Mr. Baker, you got to keep cooking this stuff. And speaking <laughs> of cooking, I know we're, we're in here in the storefront, and it smells good. If you don't mind, how about a tour where the I'd magic happens it. in the bakery? I love it. All right, Come let's on. go. Oh, Kirk, this smells so good. Oh, what, it's yeah. the oven room. This is the oven room. Oh this God. is where the magic happens uh, in cooking this. the bread. What is this? Yeah. This, well, this is our double rack oven. They're convection style ovens, and we roll the rack of bread directly in there and cook it on the rack. We can cook 40 sheet pans of bread at one time in these ovens. This is where we cook a lot of our pastries. I can do, I've got four ovens, 160 sheet pans every 30 minutes I can put out of the store. I'll tell you what, with all these ovens over here, you can feed the entire city of Pasadena yeah. here yeah. on us every single day. This this is just where they bake, but show me where it's all prepped, okay? You got it. Let's come on. Oh my goodness, this looks so fun. Kirk, you know, I want to work here, but can you quickly yeah. describe in the <laughs> well, prep room, what are we doing here? He, he's making a regalo, it's called. It's a, a gift, a present, and it's a surprise inside. Back here, he's making some chinos, some mantecadas, and he's making some uh, m, m cookies. And <laughs> the guys behind us are making bolillos. Well, this is great. Yeah, you have so many workers over. How many people do you employ? Uh, we have about 65 to 70 guys working here right now. Look yeah. at you putting, yeah. all, putting yeah. all Pasadena to work, which is Amen. good. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. As we walk around the shop over here, I mean, this is just like an industrial kitchen. You've got refrigerators, or freezers, you know, more prep room. Yeah. This is our prep area. This is where the girls take the bread and they fix it up and they prep it. Um, this is bread where we store that is getting ready to come out. 
Uh, we've got our wash room right here, our wet room where we do all our washing and cleaning. Look at and, these. Yeah. I just want to stop and grab some and eat some well, of these things. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. We've got our poster room right here. Here's some of our posters that, that she's got making right now, some choco flan and cheesecakes. And then we go into our cake area here which is really cool. This is where all the fun happens and exciting thing happens. These here. are the artists. Look yeah, at this. Great, yeah. great, great. And, and let me show you one cake this guy's making over here. I think you'll love it. I don't know. Can, oh. Excuse me, Carlos. Can you oh show? Oh, my goodness. Can you show this guy this cake? <laughs> are you kidding me? No. You do logos, too. Yeah, we just we just had a little fun with it for you to make make oh your logo for goodness. the cake. Oh, my goodness. Ebolio. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Grandpa. I love this. He say Pasadena is the only place to get your pastries right over here. Oh, this is amazing good. stuff. Oh, and yeah, this So we weddings, bar mitzvahs, and births, and everything, quinceaneras, everything. and everything. We, we can make anything that you want uh, here with our thres leches, our chocolate cakes, anything you want, we, we produce here. Well, this, this, uh, this is great, uh, and I see why it's so busy out here, because once they come out here, they go back, and there's storefront, and let's go check it out one more time so we can see all those customers getting it, okay? You got it, you got it. Kirk, I'm telling you what, this was the most fattening tour of any place I've ever been. <laughs> like, but that's a good thing, and I haven't eaten my own cake. Don't breathe too hard as you come through the kitchen. Yeah. I know it. Congratulations on your success. Oh. I know the city of Pasadena has just absolutely just eaten this up. You see what I did with the pun yeah. there? <laughs> it, it, like that. Any uh, plans to open up any more? Uh, I do in the future, and, and I'm only successful because of the city of Pasadena and the community here that is supporting us, and we're just going to give back and support them back. That's well, the only reason why we're here. You are a community pillar. Again, congrats on your success. This is the big one. If you are anytime ever in the market for personalized cakes, <laughs> pen dolce, anything sweet or anything uh, in terms of cakes, bar mitzvahs and weddings and uh, and just quinceaneras, this is the place. It's called El Bolillo here in Pasadena. All right, you ready to eat? Thank you. Let's, I am. Let's go get some. Let's do it, my All man. Right. All, All right. right. They said I couldn't dream called me a piece of trash and swore that's all I'd ever be. Said a bottle couldn't see the ocean. Give up. Go back to the dumpster. But I didn't listen. I made my way. And now, I am what I've always wanted to be. You know, as a guy who kind of dabbles in technology, I got a lot of questions and I get recommendations about where they can get products, you know, what's wrong with smartphones or laptops. And the one key thing with most every gadget we have, you need batteries. So what do you do for batteries? Well, you have to go to a place and get them. And here in Pasadena, there's a store that we're standing at right now called Batteries and Bulbs and every single thing you can think of run by this great gentleman, Ethan Wynn, joining us over here. Hey, thanks for having some congrats on this beautiful store. Thank you. Yeah. How long have you guys been open? We've been here about seven months. Okay. The exact location, where are we? We're on Fairmont Parkway between Preston and Lilly. Yeah. And so why, why did you decide to open Pasadena? Because I've seen these all over the city and even all over the country, but why Pasadena? It's a growing market and everybody needs batteries and light bulbs. Yeah, it's, it's, I hear that on my radio show all the time because, you know, without a doubt, batteries only last so long. They, yes, need, re they need replaced. What are one of the two most popular things that you sell here? We do golf cart batteries. We fix cell phones. We do car batteries. We'll install them for free. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's great. And I also see things that you fix things. Now, I, I tell people where to get things fixed. I can't do it myself. I may have to tell them to come to you. What are some of the, uh, the devices that you get fixed? The iPhones, the Samsung Galaxies, iPads, we do a little bit of everything. Yeah. Even the batteries, we replace them too. Yeah, I tell you what, I know they break. And the neat thing, as you said about the iPhones and the Samsungs, you can't replace them yourself. You're going to have to send them somewhere. But it's great that you're able to do it here in Pasadena. Very convenient place. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thank yeah, you. Well, I'll tell you what, this is a nice store. How about we take a look around, look at some of the other cool stuff you sell? Yes, sir. Let's go do this. Let's do it. All right.
you know, when I was a kid, we didn't have a store like this. We had something called Radio Shack for you old folks out there, which are no longer. You remember Radio Shack? Yes, sir. I yeah. sure do. And when I think of Radio Shack, I think of batteries. And I think of batteries like this. I mean, hey, look, we got double A, we've got triple A. And the funny thing is, you couldn't even get a battery without giving them your phone number. That was the first part of social marketing back in the day. Uh, but, Ethan, here at Batteries and Bulbs, you've, you not only have these triple A's and double A's, you've actually got some big ones. You know, you've already mentioned golf cars, but let's talk about what are some of these for? We've got ATV batteries, we've got motorcycle batteries, and over here we've got them for your alarm systems at home, garages. Um, wheelchairs too. Wheelchairs. Wheelchair batteries. And power wheels. Power wheels. Yes, sir. I know somebody behind the camera who may be interested in that, <laughs> that too. And don't yeah. forget the car batteries. We have those as well. Now, the car batteries are great because, you know, generally you go to a typical store. And, again, yes, I'm going to throw out something old, too. I, mean, I used to go to Sears for something called the <laughs> Die Hard battery. But, in fact, right. but now, actually, you even have car batteries, too. Yes, sir. Yeah. Now, it's called batteries and bulbs. We've seen a lot of the batteries, and you do sell a lot of the batteries. Let's go take a look at all the bulbs you sell. Yes, sir. Let's go. You know, I tell you what, Thomas Edison probably would love this place because it's the bulb part of it here. And when I think of bulbs, I just think of, you know, things that you can screw into the top you know, of our ceilings or inside to illuminate things. You've even got car bulbs over here. Show us around. Yes, sir. We've got LEDs for your car lights, the tail lights, everything. Yeah. I, you know, generally I, I go to a lot of these auto repair shops, and I know they're very expensive too, but this is a one-stop shop. You've got some really yes, great stuff. Well, let's talk about the home because without a doubt, people are flipping to LED. LED is it, it's much more energy efficient. And Describe all the LED options you have. We've got your BR30s, the 40s that go outside your home. Mm -hmm. We've even got colored LEDs if you mm -hmm. want to support police officers. Use oh, the blue nice. bulbs. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yeah, I, I, there's people don't understand that there's different types of bulbs, and there's there's color wheels and color temperatures, and you have something, and it, you depend if you want the warm room, the hot room, you've got it all here for you. And the daylight is great. Mm -hmm. You can see everything better, and it looks brighter. Yeah, and finally, we're big. Obviously, safety, security is big in terms of outdoor lights, and you also work with a lot of companies, a lot of churches, a lot of warehouses of doing some yes, outdoor sir. lighting. You've got a wide variety here. We do. We mm -hmm. do a, a wall packs for apartment complexes for mm -hmm. the church. We've got spotlights. We've got daylight and even uh, your motion sensors. Yeah, which is great. So we've got security. We've got almost every bulb you can think of on this side of the store. We've also got a lot of the batteries. Congratulations to success. And one more time, what's the address for everybody who needs these batteries and bulbs? 4841 Fairmont Parkway. That's right, right in the heart of Pasadena. Speaking of Pasadena, I'll tell you what, once we leave here, we're going to go over and back over to the Pasadena Business Expo to see what's going on. You know what? I need some new uh, bulbs. Can you hold this? Yes, sir. Okay, there you go. Here, here, here. Get one of these. Great. Appreciate it, mate. Thanks. Thank you. It's okay to be scared. Hmm? You don't have to be so strong. Strength is not optional. This is my mother, my purpose. Real muscle is lifting her spirits between bedpans and bad news from doctors that doubt her strength. Strength is buried in bills, managing meds, and swallowing those moments of, Mom, it's me, your daughter. Remember, my strength is super, but I'm still human, right? Look who's here. There she is. Thanks for your patience. How you feel? If you're caring for a loved one, visit aarp.org slash caregiving for care guides and community or call 1-877-333-5885. All right, we are not done with the show yet, but let's just kind of recap. I am sugared up. I am charged up from all the batteries, and now we are back in this great cavernous space of the Pasadena Convention Center, and there's a lot going on, and guess what it is? It's the annual Pasadena Chamber Expo, where you can find so many things where it's going on from a lot of business owners, and I want to talk a little bit more about this. We're going to bring in the queen herself. Is it okay to call the queen? It's Christina Womack. She is the president of the Pasadena Chamber. This is your event, your baby per se. How long has this been going on? This event's been going on for many years. We um, do this every year with more than 100 vendors, see almost 1,000 people that come through to learn about area businesses, get resources for the community, and so it's just a great event. 
give us the type of, of businesses that, that you are finding here. Some of these are expoing, but other than the popcorn, which I smell right behind us. Right, so <laughs> you have everything. So you've got some restaurants, you have financial services, mm -hmm. nonprofit organizations, small business owners, our healthcare partners in the hospitals. So it's kind of a one-stop shop for anybody that would need something for Pasadena. Yeah, and this is a key event on your calendar with the, what the chamber does, because really the purpose of it is, obviously you want to entice, you want to bring businesses to this great community, but you also you want to promote and network within. Right, exactly. We actually sold out this year, and so we have a waiting list of people who want to get in for next year. We partner with Pasadena ISD because we like to bring consumers into um, our businesses, and so um, through that partnership, we see so many people, and so it, it continues to grow year over year. Well, I can't wait to 2019, since since was sold out, so get your tickets right now. Now, listen, I can't. Do you mind if we go take the camera and see who's all here? Absolutely. All right. Well, congrats on this. Thank you so much. Well, let's go look around. I'll tell you what, this really is a big expo. I mean, there's probably a thousand people over here. I bet there's some really good giveaways. You never know who you're going to meet. Oh my goodness, you're not going to believe this. I think I have spotted Elvis. Look at this. It is Elvis, and Elvis is giving away popcorn. Elvis, it's nice to see you, What's big up, dog. Nice. How are you? Doing awesome. How okay, let me say. Okay, it, okay. Uh, it's not the real Elvis. In real life, who is this? This is Ken Phelps. How are you guys up today? Oh, we know Phelps, and you're a great insurance company. What are you doing here at the Expo? Uh, well, we're just here giving out popcorn and um, celebrating Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't get more Hollywood than this guy right here. Uh, you've been in business in how long, and, and how's it going in Pasadena? Uh, awesome. Grew up here and love it, and been in business going on 30 years, I guess. Yeah. My father was uh, there for 50 years, so long time. What type of insurance? For a State Farm Agency. Gotcha. Well, it's like a good neighbor. Elvis is here, which is a good slogan. All right. Hey, it's great seeing great you, my man. Nice All right. You, All right. Have a great day. Guys. whole lot of loving going on right over here. <laughs> Who knew? Elvis still lives. Ooh, look. Popcorn. Think they're going to mind? Wait a minute. Through the magic of television, Ethan, what are you doing? It's good seeing you again, my man. It's batteries and bulbs here at the Pasadena Chamber Expo. Hey, what are you doing here at the Expo? Meeting the community and giving stuff out to promote ourselves. Yeah, what do I, I love freebies because I just stole some popcorn too. What else do you have? What are you, give, what are you giving away? <laughs> Microfiber cloths. Good to clean your cell phones and your glasses. Course, this is a great opportunity. How many people ha have come by since the morning? Well, we've had a few hundred come by already. Yes, sir. It's a good opportunity. Again, another reason why the Pasadena community is so big. We've got great stores like Batteries and Bulbs really giving out some good stuff. Hey, thanks. And actually, you know what? I'm going to take a few more for the camera, guys. I'm going to take, take your Coke, too, because I'm real thirsty. This is so fun. Oh, I need a little bit more cheese. I mean, why not? Look at this. Thank you. You know you can get hungry working up an appetite after all the sugar this morning, but now... We're at a great booth from Luna's, and I've heard of Luna's. It's Mexican restaurant and catering, and this is Belinda. Thank you so much for this food. You're welcome. How are you? Good. Where exactly is your location? I am Friendswood, League City, Baytown, and League City. My goodness, that's a lot. Why are you here at the Pasadena Expo? Well, for, for one, to serve food. We got some nachos and some salsa. <laughs> and thank you. Yeah, you're so welcome. And then, uh, well, I kind of have, have joined the Chambers for the last probably year, and we've enjoyed Pasadena. I love Pasadena. I'm hoping to get a location here, but we got to talk to the boss man about that. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's definitely meet and greet. You know, it's good for business. I mean... What else can I say? Yeah, it's, well, it's great PR, great exposure, because absolutely. until now I haven't I haven't tried it, but you know what? Hold the microphone because I'm eating and leaving, okay? It's all yours. Absolutely. Oh, my, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, look at, this is such a great fattening day. <laughs> she can host a show. I, I got this. I got this. <laughs> I'll tell you what, this is a first. I'm sitting here with the camera crew and I'm rolling things and all of a sudden I come to a booth and they're doing their own TV show. How are you? What is your name, sir? Ray Martinez. Ray, how I'm are you? Sure. And you're, sir? Anthony Fisher. It's good to see you. And you're with Total Access, is that right? Yeah, Total Access MD. Okay, and what do you guys do? So, go ahead. What do you guys do? Well, we're a telemedicine company. Okay. Not only that, we have our own clinic. Mm -hmm. So basically what we do is you can see your doctor, let me show you, on your phone. Very technological, which I certainly like about that. Yeah, uh -huh. so you don't have to go to clinic sometimes. You know, if you need a prescription, you can, our doctor will take care of you on the phone. Telemedicine. Now, Telemedicine. Do, you, now do you guys have a physical location in Pasadena? We do, we do have. We are in 1946 Pasadena Boulevard uh -huh. uh, in front of the Southmore Middle School, uh -huh. and that's where we're located. Yeah. And soon we're planning to build more locations in the future. Yeah. Around the world. You know, it all starts in Pasadena, and it all is very the technology big. over here. So tell me what show, we, what, so I'm on now your TV show, so what are you well, shooting well, for? Here's what we do. We are here at Total Access MD Live. So our goal is to connect healthcare communities, businesses in Pasadena. Right. And you were here. I don't know. <laughs> it was fun. And you pulled me on the set yes, over here. Yes, yes, yes. 
So the interviewee is becoming the interviewer. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, this is this is a double shot only here at the Pasadena <laughs> Expo. Which is like, there's too many cameras. But anyway, right. this is this is how much fun that you can have here in Pasadena. It's great meeting you guys. Hey, hey, Telemedicine, the way to go. Telemedicine, that's right. right. Total access, MD. Stay connected with your health. Thank you. That's it. Thank you. Oh my goodness, that was great. Hey, smile. Tell you what, I got a big haul today. How fun was this? The Pasadena Business Expo. Once a year, this is the place to be. And what a great place to meet so many people and so many businesses, great businesses in Pasadena than right here at the Convention Center. Hey, listen, we appreciate you tuning in today. We had a great time. There was a lot of food and a lot of good networking. And this is why Pasadena is the place for great business. Make sure you catch this show again the next time. Thank you for watching the Pasadena Business Journal. I hope this chocolate doesn't melt in the car. The Pasadena Business Journal was brought to you by these generous sponsors. Clear Lake Volkswagen, Texas Citizens Bank, and Remax First Source. Please visit these fine businesses for helping bring you great programming.